Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession round your altar, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Today, we remember John Kebble, priest. New every morning is the love our wakening and uprising prove. Through sleep and darkness safely brought, restored to life and power and thought. These familiar words of John Kebble are from his cycle of poems entitled The Christian Year published in 1827, which he wrote to restore among Anglicans a deep feeling for the church year. The work went through 95 editions, but this was not the fame he sought. His consuming desire was to be a faithful pastor who finds his fulfillment in daily services, confirmation classes, visits to village schools, and a voluminous correspondence with those seeking spiritual counsel. Kebble, born in 1792, received his early education in his father's vicarage. At 14, he won a scholarship to Oxford and graduated in 1811 with highest honors. He served the university in several capacities, including 10 years as professor of poetry. After ordination in 1816, he had a series of rural curacies and finally settled in 1836 into a 30-year pastorate at the village of Hursley near Winchester. England was going through a turbulent change from a rural to an industrial and urban society. Among the reforms of the 1830s, Parliament acted to abolish 10 Anglican bishoprics in Ireland. Kebble vigorously attacked this action as undermining the independence of the church. His Assize Sermon of 1833 was the spark that ignited the Oxford movement. Those drawn to the movement began to publish a series of tracts for the times, hence the popular name Tractarians, which sought to recall the church to its ancient sacramental heritage. John Henry Newman was the intellectual leader of the movement. Edward Bouverie Pussy was the prophet of its devotional life, and John Kebble was its pastoral inspiration. Though bitterly attacked, his loyalty to his church was unwavering. Within three years of his death at age 74, a college bearing his name was established at Oxford to give an education in strict fidelity to the Church of England. For Kebble, this would have meant dedication to learning in order to live more nearly as we pray. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that in all time of our testing we may know your presence and obey your will, that following the example of your servant John Kebble, we may accomplish with integrity and courage what you give us to do and endure what you give us to bear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.